Hello, and welcome to another video. Um, today I wanted to show you a little bit of a <laughs> an interesting build that I created a long time ago when we first started the server. Um, we were a little bit bored when we were terraforming some of the area around here, especially um, for the barn over here that you can see. Um, so we decided to put on the jukebox, and I was really annoyed every time I had to manually insert a new song into the jukebox and so I thought what if I just didn't have to insert a new song in the jukebox what if I could program the jukebox to theoretically play the same song or or a, a cycle through a couple different songs over and over until I got to a point where I could um, could enjoy these songs you know back to back to back to back and I thought you know what let's build a machine that can do just that so it, it doesn't necessarily, oops, I'm stuck on something. It doesn't necessarily matter if you understand all of what's going to happen or what I'm going to explain here, but I did, I just did want to show this off uh, very quickly. I don't know if anyone has ever made anything like this, but um, it exists now. So um, I guess, where do I start? Obviously we have the jukebox here in the center and this is going to receive the discs and then um, be clicked when after a certain point. These blocks over here are called deployers. They're from Blue Power. Blue Power is going to um, do all sorts of uh, automation things with tubes and uh, clickers and etc. And, and we'll get to that when we, when we cover Blue Power in greater detail. Um, but basically these deployers are programmed to right click with using the first item in its inventory which happens to be this top left slot here so when this deployer it clicks right clicks or is, is given a redstone pulse it's going to right click and insert a item into this jukebox um, this system will not start when there is nine discs in here and none in here because um, because of this redstone process over here. This is a redstone comparator. This isn't vanilla Minecraft. Um, when the jukebox has a CD in it, it's going to give off a redstone signal, uh, which will then turn off this torch right here, because this is just a, a flip-flop, I guess. I, I'm not sure. I'm not uh, well-versed in uh, vanilla redstone circuitry. Um, anyway, this will turn off this redstone torch, which will deactivate this redstone going through here and turn this, which is a OR gate, off. So this will be unpowered. Now, while that's happening, um, this timer, this is called a timer, this is set on 239 seconds. Every 239 seconds, which is about a um, little over three and a half minutes, maybe four minutes, something like that. Every, every 239 seconds, this is going to send out a redstone pulse. And the only thing that this thing is touching that can receive a redstone pulse is this deployer. Now you'll notice this deployer doesn't have anything in it, okay, but it's still going to right click on the jukebox. And what happens when you right click on a jukebox with an empty hand? It ejects the disc. Now when the disc is ejected, this redstone comparator is going to turn off because there's no longer a disc in this jukebox. And it's going to say, oh, well that sucks. We're going to turn this torch back on like it is right now because the jukebox is empty, not sending a redstone signal. Redstone torch turns this on, and normally this would be off. So this then turns it back on very quickly and causes the deployer to right click and put a disc in the jukebox, which then turns on the redstone comparator, turns off the torch, and unpowers the OR gate. So when it cycles through again and it takes the disc out, it quickly pulses through and causes the deployer to put in the next disc. Now you may be wondering, okay, well all the discs are just left lying on the ground, right? Wrong. These purple pipes here are obsidian transport pipes powered by redstone engines, uh, which are part of, both of which are part of Buildcraft. Um, these obsidian pipes suck up uh, items on the ground or close to them. Uh, they have about a three block radius in front of them, so obviously the system isn't perfect, and oops, I get stuck over there for some reason. Um, and sometimes it'll miss a disc and the whole system will screw up, but that's besides the point. Um, 
basically these obsidian pipes are going to take it and put it into the pipe network and these iron pipes are going to direct it back over way over here to this chest and this is where all the discs will be stored now this is kind of what makes the the whole process work because this is a emerald transport pipe and emerald transport pipes are uh, different than wooden transport pipes. Emerald transport pipes extract items from an inventory, just like wooden transport pipes do. However, you can program emerald transport pipes to only extract in a certain manner by using this round robin mode. So I basically set up this uh, emerald transport pipe to extract these discs in the exact order that they're in on the filter. But you'll notice that in here, they're the exact opposite order. And now I put these in here manually. So I put them in there opposite manually. That's how you start the system. Now, when the first disc gets used, which is ward, which is the last one here in the filter, it will go up back into the chest and stay there because it is not Malohi. And it will not extract until it has all these items and it can extract them in the same order. I mean, theoretically, if it got Malohi first, it would extract Malohi. Or if it got Blocks, Cat, Maul, and then Malohi, it would extract Malohi, Blocks, Cat, Maul. But it won't extract it if it gets Ward, and then Wait, and then Far, and then Stall, and yada yada yada. Once all of these are back in that chest, it will then extract them in the order shown here, put them into the Deployer, and have them go again. So... I, I, I kind of want to show how this works and I don't want to wait here too long so I'm obviously going to edit it together but let's pop Ward in there and we'll turn the music up a little bit. Can't hear much, can you? That's interesting. Um, maybe it's because my master volume was a zero. That's really loud. Okay, we're gonna sit here for a while and wait till this ticks over and I'll, I'll meet you. Oh, there it goes. That was interesting. Um, there, okay. It got sucked into the obsidian pipes. It's going through the pipe network. Boom, right in the chest. And then you'll notice that this gate um, is actually powering the emerald pipe to extract. And it's not extracting because of uh, it's not Malohi, so it's going to wait until it has Malohi. But you'll notice also that it used the second disc when this thing pulsed and put in the new song. So uh, the redstone comparator is on because there's currently a song in the jukebox and the redstone torch is off which powers this and you can go back and read it again if you don't quite understand what I'm saying. So in conclusion, that is the um, temporary build that I have for the uh, automatic jukebox. And if you have any improvements or uh, posts or pictures or anything that have a better design than I do, feel free to share them. I'd love to see them. Um, I kind of maybe want to improve this later, but for now it functions as well as I want it to. And I don't feel like investing the time and effort to make this any better. So uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, I hope you learned something and uh, maybe found this a little bit fun and interesting. Uh, if you did, be sure to hit like. It really helps me out a lot. And um, I'll see you guys next time.